the... I think so. Yeah. We are nearing the end of the game. I think we are. Why is it not showing up that I'm streaming? Okay, here we are. Just wasn't showing up on the home page. We are right back, and there is a totem! Ooh, a luck totem! Thank goodness. Oh, okay. So, Mike is gonna shoot someone. Or not shoot someone. So, when Mike gets his, the gun and has the choice to shoot someone, do not shoot them. This is gonna be the way. Um, uh oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Got it. What is that? Oh no! No! Emily! Oh.
god, I need to continue, don't I? Crap, what now? Let her in, quick! Shut the door! Oh my god, shut the door! Emma, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. You, okay? you look totally wise. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster, it's a Wait. monster. Are you okay? I'm fine, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There was this, this thing, whatever it was. And, and, and you can relax. Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. I want to know where where's Matt is. Matt? Is he okay? I don't want to talk about that fucking sack of shit. It wow. wasn't his fault. He left me. He just fucking abandoned me when I was hanging off that goddamn tower about to die. What tower? And then I, I fell into this terrifying freaking mine shaft and he was just gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what mine shaft? It wasn't his I, I was fault. walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. When we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. That's I mean, wouldn't they have checked the mine? Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio, and it, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up. Guys. I don't appreciate Emily? how it was in Hey, Em. Marks. Whoa. Fucking happy. Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take you the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. I think it's Psycho Killer number one, but. Jesus! <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, what? The? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, <laughs> just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. Um, okay. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. Well, how are we supposed to know? Last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Or responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Go. Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. I know about Wendigos. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. I shot that, by the way. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. 
the basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. Aww. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Dude! Then, Chris. I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. He going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. Okay. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Okay. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? what? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Smooch! Aww! You need to hurry, son. I, uh... I'll see you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. My uh, what's uh, what, what's the guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Okay. Status update. I'm a less honest. What? So, how many times do I have to shoot? Okay. with the shotgun before it's dead. Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. But well, how do you kill it? They don't <laughs> like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. Then it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Okay. That's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they, I mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? Because I didn't they're nocturnal? Ask. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? I can't see you if you're. Standing still. Just like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Uh. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Well, Josh is dead. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. Mm -hmm. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. He keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. Sounds delectable. So we'll watch that. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near.
Oh, I don't trust this. Wait! No more. You're very quiet. so good up there right now understatement of the night chris where's the flamethrower guy uh yeah he uh he, he got his head chopped off no. what happened the thing it uh, tore him apart right in front of me what it just decapitated him all right these are all the doors yeah are you sure what are you looking for another way out mike look i really don't think that's a good idea we should stay put right here until dawn at least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then it did. we're shit out of luck. Yep. yep. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Hey. And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. True. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There have been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? 
Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing, oh, it no, just it, no, it bit no, me no. and... It bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's uh, not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? I yes. believe Emily, you, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Oh, is that how it works? Yes, it happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be hey, down Sparks. here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting Dude. us all in danger. Like hell no. I am. Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is Chris? this? Chris! Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Mike, this is where calm I did down. not shoot. You're- you're gonna shoot me? <laughs> Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. <laughs> not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Not gonna shoot her. Stop with the luck. Poor oh, God, Guidance is totally fed. Oh my God. You did the right thing. Okay. Mike faced a dilemma, yeah. Obviously, I was gonna spare her. I hope I did. To do. Maybe. For now. <sighs> Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I thought that... that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. True. I don't true. know if I can. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under this control. This guy's a little OCD. Heed these words, or it shall be your death. Your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained! The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess them. Even the strongest man is blank, blank, weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature growls, and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. There's a tribe.
tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature. There's a lot of history to this. God damn it, Ashley. Born in ice, the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became very sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and water, and later, traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Hmm. I'll just wait for... This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Okay. The Wendigos' eyes change. They've become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin and makes them weak. Try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. The death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Eww. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs, and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them out on the mountain. They work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough but inside buildings they do not work. Cree hunter cravings who found nearby stripped bear. Skull and rich rib cage found two miles apart. Who survived the collapse? Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is... Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh, oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? We have to be honest. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Nothing. Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. 
Fine, Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. Hey. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse please, for Emily, this. Emily, please, just try to understand. Aww. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Oh, ow! Rude. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. Why? I got an achievement. Oh, hey! Joshua. Yeah, what's you up? Have listened to me. Sorry. Because of your choices, people have died. It wasn't my I fault. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Dude. Remember last year? Huh? Yeah. How you left your poor sisters to die? You it, did nothing it, to help her. He was passed out. by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. No, You're we're all coming. Alone. They're coming to get you. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? I think that's the ground I'm being dragged across. Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Technically, he didn't hurt anyone, so... Oh, but of course he did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from. Something even worse than death itself. Ooh. Interesting. Oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. Yeah... Yeah... <laughs> Ah! Poor dude. What are you looking for? Another I wonder if there was anything Mike, I Mike, there's could... no key for the cable no. car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. Ah! Um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Okay, wait, we had other things. Emily is just no. Emily was bitten, Mike spared Emily. Ashley was faced with a dilemma and told the truth. Which caused her to get slapped in the face. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, what? Can I not do this? I guess I have to. Hmm? In where? 